Okay, it's May 31st, 2021, and this video will be me attempting to fix various problems with various Dragon's Air components. So a little background, about a month ago, I went and visited, actually it's probably more than a month ago, more than a month ago I went and visited the Dragon's Air creator, Rick Dyer, to fix his Dragon's Air game, and I flew in and flew out on the same day, so I didn't have a lot of time, and so I wasn't actually able to, I was only able to spend about an hour on his game, and so what I did was I just swapped out his Dexter, which I had sent to him previously, his Dragon's Lair main logic board, and his Dragon's Lair NTSC decoder, just to get his game up and running, and I took his swapped components back home with me, and I've been pretty busy, but now I'm finally getting the chance to fix the problems with these three components. I'm really surprised there was a problem with the Dexter because I just barely shipped it to him. So it may have gotten damaged in transit, but it does have uh, some problems that doesn't work correctly. So that's probably the first thing I'm going to fix because that's going to be the easiest since I'm the most familiar with that. Okay, the first thing I tried was my LDV1000 tester, which is a little piece of hardware that plugs into all Dexters that I just use to quickly test Dexters to make sure they work. And that tries to ser search to frame 09876, which is shown right here, 3F, 5F, 9F, 1F, 6F, F7. But the Dexter log is showing that it is instead, let's see if I can point to this, instead of 3F, it's going to BF, or sending BF, or receiving BF, instead of 5F, DF, and then instead of well, 9F is getting is correct, but then instead of 1F, it's also getting 9F. So it looks like some of the bits are stuck high, maybe one or more bits. Looks like at least one, the high bit, looks like it's always stuck high, which I have no idea how that could happen, because I for sure tested this before I shipped it out. So I'm really curious how these bits can possibly be stuck high. Okay, so I loaded up the CAD software where I developed Dexter, which is Eagle version 6, kind of old by now, but this pin is the high bit for the bus. So I'm going to look on the Dexter board to see if there's anything wrong with that. I could also check, let's see, down here, but I already checked it and there doesn't look like any vis visual damage there, so that's probably okay. But I am going to check right here. Okay, this is really surprising, but that pin looks like it has been, it's like moved somehow, shifted. And I did a continuity test and it's not connected, so I need to like solder it back on there. I don't know, I have no idea how that could have happened. But that looks like what the problem is. Alright, did some soldering and it seems to be working now. My LDB1000 tester is working correctly. Okay, the next thing to fix is this NCSC decoder, the input BNC port or whatever you want to call it. It kind of fell apart while I was trying to unscrew it and so I just threw everything in a bag, took it home. Uh, looks like a wire broke. It might have broke during when the cabinet was being transported, the signal wire, so I should just be able to solder that back on and get this thing up and running again. Start the wire back on. It's not the best soldering job, but I think it'll work. So let's go put it inside the cabin, see if this NTSC decoder works. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Space Ace! Defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Ace is being attacked by the evil Commander Borg. Hold your fire! Arthur board and the fixed Dexter and the NTSC decoder, so let's see if it boots. I think I forgot to hook up the scoreboard. Yeah, I didn't hook up the scoreboard cable.
Oh, very good sign. All right, so it's just so I've, I fixed the Dexter. I fixed the NTSC decoder, which really wasn't that hard. So the last thing to do is fix the logic board, which has some problem. I'm not sure what the problem is. So that's what I'll work on next. Okay, I brought the Dragonzord board onto my bench. I hooked up a logic analyzer to the CPU, and I even hooked up a scoreboard, extra scoreboard that I had lying around to try to figure out what's wrong. But as soon as I powered it on, look what happens with the scoreboard. It displays the two and the one five, which is means means it's working correctly. So I, I'm kind of stumped because when I tried this on location, the scoreboard was just showing garbage. So I didn't think it was working at all. But this board has a pretty cool mod modification done to it, where if you flip this switch, it'll go from a Rev C board to a, rev, a modified Rev C board. Let's see, watch. I'll flip the switch and reset. And watch the scoreboard. So now it shows the one here, which means it's the modified Rev C. So apparently this is what the developers of the game used to test to make sure they could support both Rev C and modified Rev C. I just put it back to Rev C. Yep, there's the two. So I'm kind of stumped why this wasn't working before. It's not really that convenient to attach to the CPU, so. Well, sure enough, I put the board in my game. Both my Dragons there and my Space Ace beep at almost the exact same time when powered up, which is kind of cool. By the way, my Space Ace has a Rev, Rev A board inside of it, which is kind of cool because Space Ace, Defender of that means I have a Rev A board for testing and a Rev, and a Rev C board. A that can be where you become a valiant converted on a quest to, rescue. to a modified Rev C board with a switch. So I have all three types of Dragon Ball boards for testing. So I have no idea why this wasn't working on site. I'm kind of suspicious because I didn't really. I mean. I did change the ROMs. I did change the ROMs when I got to Rick's place because I thought, okay, he's probably got, if his game's not working, it's probably a ROM problem. So the first thing I did was swap the ROMs. And then when I powered it on, I was just getting garbage on the screen or on the scoreboard. So I have no idea what, what was wrong, but it doesn't look like there is actually anything wrong with the board. So. I'm kind of stumped, but NTSC decoder fixed and Dexter fixed, so in theory, if I ever visit Rick again, I could swap out the hardware that I took home with me and restore it to its original glory. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the video, and see you next time.